Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back, and I just wanted to come and run my mouth. Now, listen, just a quick disclaimer, girl. I ain't got my microphone. I know y'all probably don't care, but I just like talking to my microphone now. I left my charger in New York, and, girl, I can't charge my microphone up, so I ordered another one. It should be here Friday, so, yeah. All right, let's get into this mess. So, Flo Rida awarded $82 million after winning lawsuit against Celsius Energy Drink for breach of contract. Girl, that is a nice... Girl, that is a nice... That's a nice chunk of change. A jury has sided with Flo Rida in his lawsuit against Celsius. According to reports, rapper Flo Rida and his... How you say that? Halea-based company, Strong Arm Productions... Alleged there was a breach of contract from a 2014 endorsement deal with Celsius. Reportedly, the Wild Ones rapper agreed to globally market and promote all aspects of the brand. However, Celsius brand, um, however, Flo Rida, real name, Traymar Dillard, sued the company over stock. He said he was promised for his endorsement work but never received. According to Flo Rida, he played a great part in the company's success, especially when it first began. And each share was sold for less than $1. Shares today are currently above $100. A court, uh, attorneys for Celsius, a commonly known energy fitness drink, said the 40-year-old was paid during the contract agreement with 250,000 uh, shares of a company stock. They added that the entertainer wasn't owed any more funds because the endorsement deal ended in 2018. <sighs> Girl... And the first thing, I go to the comment section. The first comment I see, I say, baby, you read my mind, baby. First comment I see is, will he use some of that to pay pay his child support? Because I know he got a baby. He has a child. I think his child may be, um, I think his child had developmental issues. I think, it's, I think the child likes special needs, I believe. Let's look up. Let's look. Let's look it up. Cause I know. I remember that. Cause I know I ain't tripping. I remember the mama coming out. Oh, the little son is so cute. Is that his son? Flo Rida allegedly refers to his special needs son as an evil effing child, rejects building relationship with his kid. Y'all be so disgusting. I know it's allegedly. Y'all be so dis Like, you know what it is? You know what it is? Like, not to just go off into a whole rant, but I think that a lot of people want kids, right? And I think that in your head, you already have what your kids are going to be like, who they're going to be like, what they're going to do. And when you have a kid, your kid could come out the opposite of what you think, right? <laughs> I remember one day I was talking to this, to, to this guy at work and he was like, yeah, I can't wait to have kids. So, you know, we could like play. He said something like, I can't wait to have kids. So, you know, I can throw a football around with him and all that stuff. I said, well, girl, what if you want to, I said, well, girl, what if you want to be in the yard and be in the cheerleader? <laughs> you, talk, you talking about, you already got in your head that he going to want to throw a football. What if he want to do cartwheels, flips, and gigs? <laughs> then, girl, what's, this, what's the team? <laughs> okay. He was like, oh, I'll be okay with that too, girl. Are you sure? Because <laughs> you already got in your head, girl. Y'all going to be doing footballs together. You might be doing football with your daughter. Girl, your son be the one over here, girl, talking about go team, go. Be aggressive. Be -e aggressive. Yes, it might be that way. So sometimes, um, you know, parents have in their head of, I'm just going to have a child, right? I want a child, and you're, you don't know what, you know, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't. Your child could be special needs. Anything could happen. Your child could be gay. <laughs> Right. All right. Anyways, I wonder what his relationship with his son is as of today. 
Is this his son? I don't know if this is his son or not. How many kids does he have? Oh, I think this is his son. Oh. Oh, oh he does. He suffers from a um, a rare brain disease. Oh, he's such a cutie. If I was that baby mama, bitch, I would move to California for our child support. <laughs> Girl, would that work? I don't know. I don't know all the ends of the child support. Could she move to California then file child support? Do he already pay? I don't know, child. I don't keep up with Flow Rider like that. I was trifling ass. It makes me sick. Anyways. So here's an update on Antonio Brown claims his Snapchat was hacked. <laughs> After the platform reportedly suspended his account and launched an investigation for posting explicit images of his children's mother. Of course, I, I mean, girl, of course they're gonna say it was hacked. Y'all know that, y'all know, y'all do know that man's phone wasn't hacked. I saw one of y'all, <laughs> not y'all, not y'all. I saw somebody the other day talking about, <laughs> it was some black girl talking about, girl, what did you say? If you watch this video, what did you say? They're trying to come, she's trying to come for our black man. <laughs> it was something about our black man and I was a, a successful black man. You know what? Sometimes I be worried about y'all. Not y'all. Not y'all. The people who think that way. Because I'm like, girl, y'all do realize that when y'all be out here defending these men who treat women a certain way, like, you will be treated the same way. Like, that's the gag. That I, I don't think y'all understand that. I think that some of you really think that you will be exempt from the same behavior that they put onto these other women. Like they would treat you the same way. <laughs> you know, probably even worse. It is what it is, honey. Cardi B. <sighs> they say Jason Lee has a new show. Can you uh can you have cosmetic sur surgery? This is actually a good question. Um, can you have cosmetic surgery and not be suffering um from low self esteem? I'm gonna be honest with y'all, because Cardi B was talking about the plastic surgery she's had, and I guess she's saying that she never, I guess, had those issues. I guess low self esteem. I kind of want to play the clip, but. Can you have so? Can, I, I think I, I I think that there are levels to it. Do I think that just because somebody has plastic surgery that means that girl they were one day away from jumping off a cliff and you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying because they were so depressed? No, like. But I think that for a lot of people, including me, you know what I'm saying? Like, girl, I want to look nip and tuck. You know what I'm saying? Because, girl, I just want to look a certain way. Now, would that be low self-esteem? In a, in, in, a, in a way, yeah. But is it like, do I still think, like, clearly, girl, I don't think I'm too bad because I get in front of, of y'all face every day cheesing and smiling and thinking I'm cute. But, girl, I think there's, you know, there's always room for improvement. Because I think that for some people, it just depends on how far you go. Cardi B, girl, you have changed a lot. I I, I just don't, I, it's hard for me to believe that someone who has as much plastic surgery as Cardi B, or even if it's a little nip and tuck, that girl, you, you will turn around and say, I never had self-esteem issues. 
Like I don't I don't know how I don't know how like I don't can you separate the two? There's something about when you look in the mirror, when you're naked looking in, looking in your mirror, there's something that you don't like. In a way that affects your self-esteem. I would think that it does, right? Y'all don't think so? I think that it does. Let's hear what Cardi. Let's just let's 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 just listen to the clip. Let's hear what Cardi B had to say. I always thought you were beautiful. Did you did you know you wanted to do different work to your body along the way? Or like when did you decide you were gonna make a change? Um, I always wanted like to do certain things. You know, like a lot of people. And and this is the thing, the tricky thing about a lot of people, right? People will be assuming that like when you do surgery or something, like you're insecure about yourself or you hurt hurt. I hate yourself and that's just not the truth I just be feeling like if I want to correct something I want to do a little something something like I don't give a f I'm, I'm gonna do it I don't think that people who have plastic surgery like I don't hate myself <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I don't think like girl I'm a bad looking person you know what I'm saying um but I don't think that you can have plastic surgery and also say, girl, my self-esteem is high or you don't have self-esteem issues. Again, I'm not saying that just because you have plastic surgery, that means that, girl, you're just this depressed person walking around thinking you're just the ugliest mother. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not saying that. But, girl, there's, some, there's something scratching that self-esteem of yours, Right? To the point where, girl, you're willing to go lay on the table and get your body altered. And I think with Cardi B, who has had a lot of work done, not just a little, not, 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 not like, oh, I had babies and my titties, you know, them kids sucked the, <laughs> sucked the life out of my titties, you know. I just think that's, I think that's for anybody across the board. I don't think that you can say, can you? I don't think that you can have plastic surgery done and say that you don't have self-esteem issues. I just don't. I just don't. Again, I'm not trying to compare everybody. I'm not trying to put everybody on the same level because I know there's different levels, right? But girl, there's something about you when you look in the mirror that you don't like. Doesn't that affect your self-esteem? <laughs> I don't know, girl. I, I, I feel like it does. I, feel, I don't feel like you can separate the two. Y'all let me know what y'all think. <clears throat> Netflix is hiring a flight attendant and willing to pay up to $385,000 $385, a year for the right candidate. Girl, I thought y'all didn't have no money. Because the way y'all been laying people off left and right now, girl, where is money coming from? Okay, let me mind my, my business. Netflix is going above and beyond after creating a new job listing in search of a flight attendant who they are willing to pay up to $385,000 a year. The post appeared on the official Netflix careers page earlier this week. That's a nice little chunk of change, though, for a flight attendant. Ooh. And states that the ideal candidate should possess uh, independent judgment, discretion, and outstanding customer service skills, as well as being able to operate with very little direction and a lot of self-motivation. The position will be based in um, San Jose, California. With a successful applicant expected to carry out the usual pre-flight cabin inspections and safety. So are oh, you gonna be a flight attendant for like, I'm spitting all in y'all faces. So are you gonna be a flight attendant for like the top notch of the company who take like a private jet? That's what I'm assuming, right? Right? The only difference um, is the person who gets the job will not be performing their duties on just any plane. It will be a Gulf. It will be a Gulf Stream G um, five fifty jet, meaning less people to attend to. Now, for the most part, uh, the, for the most exciting part, salary. I'm sorry. Now, for the most exciting part, salary. While Netflix did not offer. A specific compensa compensation package for the candidate who lands a job, the company mentions that um, based on experience, the salary could be anywhere between 60000 Oh, girl. Okay, here we go. It could be anywhere between 60000 and 385000 Girl, that's a big difference. <laughs> girl, that's a big difference. 
The role will require a lot of flexibility, such as working on holidays and flying on both domestic and international flights with their final uh, requirement being that those who apply uh, must be able to carry items up to 30 pounds at a time. It might it sound like a decent gig, depending. I guess depending on who you're, you know, I, say, I, I guess it just depends. Like if you're a woman and you probably being a flight attendant for a whole bunch of men in power, then I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because again, it's a private jet. I'm sure the people, I'm sure the flight attendant is going to just be catering to those men or like the clients, you know, making deals and all that mess. And if it's a woman, can you imagine having to deal with those type of men on a private jet? Shout out to Nene Leet's son. Brent shows off 100 pound weight loss transformation months after suffering stroke. So uh, Brent Leet seems to be in a much healthier place. Shout out, that's what I'm talking about, girl. We need to get on it. If Brent can lose it, I can lose it too. Um, Nene Leet's son revealed his shocking 100 pound weight loss just four months after suffering from a stroke on Sunday, January the 15th. Um, Brent uh, took to Instagram to share an inspiring before and after photo of himself um, showing off his new figure. He captioned the post, focus on you until the focus is you, hashtag 100 pounds down. Um, as previously reported, uh, on October the 10th, Nene Leakes took to social media to confirm reports that her son had uh, suffered both congestive heart failure and a stroke. Girl. And you know he only 23. He just look healthier now. Not to say that just not to cause even at his size, he just looks healthier, girl. You know, like, this, I'm about to say something that's about to, about to probably sound real problematic. You know, when some people lose weight, you may start thinking like, ooh, girl, what's tea? It may, it don't look healthy, but he looks healthy with his 100-pound 100, 100 weight loss. Now, some people just be looking sick, girl. He looks healthy, even when they've been 100 pounds. Because, baby... <laughs> Cause girl, you was not giving. To, girl, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest, girl. Cause sister, girl, you was not giving 23. He's giving it every bit of 35. Oh, girl. Okay, let me go, on, girl. Just let me, let me stop being messy, girl. Shout out to Brent, girl. Thank God he all right. <laughs> Cause girl, ooh wee, and we were. Girl, neighbors get into this. Looks like Kim K is adding another late icon's belongings to her personal collection. According to TMZ, Kim just obtained a beautiful diamond cross necklace that was previously worn by Princess Diana. Um, Kim was able to purchase um, during the auction for almost $200,000. The infamous necklace was worn by Princess Diana. Um, after the Gerard Jewelry Company loaned it for her, loaned it to her for a London charity gala in 1987. Girl, whatever, child. Kim, why you want that necklace? <laughs> Girl, like, I feel like Kim be doing a lot sometimes, like unnecessary stuff. Like when she when she squeezed her big ass into uh into that dress, <laughs> then they say she was popping the buttons. <laughs> Girl, what was that? What was that? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> when she wore Marilyn Monroe's Marilyn Monroe's dress to the Met Gala, and then they uh, it was a picture that uh, that got out that said it was allegedly the dress, 
and the back of the dress had been stretched out. <laughs> girl. And then they tried to say that that wasn't true. Girl. I think it was true because Kim. Girl. <laughs> Kim. Is not the same size as Kim. Kim. <laughs> I don't know, Kim just be doing a lot. Now she wants this necklace. Like, I don't know, uh, girl, Kim do what you want to do. Kim just bored. <laughs> Kim bored, she rich, she bored. Girl, let me just go buy a $200,000 necklace. Girl, what you gonna do with this necklace? Anyway, child, I'm gone. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.